What's up guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be working on the rest of the timing chain system on this K24 block. So for this K24 block, basically we're going to be installing the chains from the crank to the cams. And before we even start guys, I just want to let you, get, let you guys know, thank you so much for subscribing before. And I'm asking you, don't forget to subscribe for any newcomers if you want to see more videos coming in. And also go ahead and hit that like button so you, got, so you can share it out with other people. And uh, as usual, leave any leave any comment if you got any questions or even something you want to share with me. Again, guys, thank you so much for your support. Um, super excited for this build. Now, let's get back to it. In the last video, when I removed it, I already have two lock pins to keep these two cams together. They should look like this for the two points that go across right here. So once they're aligned, you know you're good. Also for the bottom, you want to make sure that there's a small arrow that points upwards towards this large arrow in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. So the small arrow here is supposed to be lined with this arrow pointing downward here. So that's where you know you're in the top dead center. Also to verify that, um, I have an extension. And right now I'm, t I'm tapping the top of the, uh, the piston. So you should have top dead center on the um, cylinder one and cylinder four all the way in the back. Now we have everything cleared up. We wanna go ahead and clean up the area because this, this had um, Honda Bond before. So you wanna clear that up, clean it up, make sure everything is nice and ready. Um, and uh, other than that, man, let's get it. Let's put the chain together. So for the chain, I have it right here. That's if you wanna look at the part number. But again, guys, I will leave the part number um, in the link down below. So if you want to, you know, look at it, just make sure you got it right. This is it. This is for a K24. I think it's supposed to be, I think it's the same chain, K20, K24. But like I said, I'll leave a link down there just in case if you want to look at it and, and purchase one yourself. Now with the chain, as you see, it's nice, lubed up, ready to go. And uh, the things you need to pay attention to is that the links. So you have two links right here. This belongs to the cams, and you want to have, and then, and then there's supposed to be one link all the way in the bottom. In the bottom, this belongs to the crank. So there is, there are points that indicates where these links should meet up. So this is important to have it precise during the installation. And uh, once you have everything lined up, you know you're perfectly, you're perfect, you're good. Everything is in proper timing, and you're good to go. So let's go start with the, the cams. So with the cams, we're gonna go ahead and start on it. I'm just gonna apply for both links right there. So there's supposed to be a little dot. Well, I'll um, you leave markings here so you know where it is, because you can't really see it through the camera. But this marking is where that dot is, and same here. And there's even an arrow just to point at it. But you want to have those those two dots in between the, the two gold links. You can't really see it clearly, but there is a line that's hiding all the way in the corner there. But once you see it, you want to have your goal link to line up there. So once you have all three points, that's where you know you're in ideal position. So we got the first guide right here. So this will be on the right side of the block. If you have new bolts, you can use that. I am using the old. And uh, with this one, unless they give you a new one or you order the new one, you have to reuse this. So we're gonna put it right here. About to torque these a little bit. So you wanna torque them around eight, maybe eight and a half to nine Newton meters. Got one. Got two. Got three. So these boys are in. 
in uh, size six Allen and uh, see if we can hit this like there we go uh, I'll put this at 10 newton meters so, so I'll say eight and a half to nine here 10 all right now last but not least tensioner so you want to kind of move this little magnet out of the way and you want to put one in I'll probably put one on the far left first let's see if I can try to do that So, got it in. And from this point, you'll want to double check everything one last time. So, both points up here, you're good. So we know we don't have a problem there. And already checked down there one last time. It's connected, everything is in top dead center. Perfect timing, so I'm happy about that. Now we're just gonna torque those two. Nine newton meters. Good. All right, so we good now, right? Good to go. Make sure that the uh, tensioner is in between the little groove here. Make sure it's in between, not out. So once you know it's in place, you're good. Then. See, you just pop this bad boy, and that's it. Now it's put in tension. And uh, let's see if we can apply a little bit more tension on it. Maybe it could expand. There you go. Now it's on there. So now I got tension on it, which is awesome. So for, the, for those two bolts up top here, it's gonna be 16 foot pounds or uh, like around 21, 22 newton meters. So, let's see if we can get this nice and tight. There we go. Uh, this one. There we go. And then, a bit of turn. That's it, guys. Now, the ultimate test is remove the pins from the back and do a couple si uh, turn cycle to make sure everything is in place nothing is touching anything and you're good just to my just to give you a heads up you know you f you know you messed up if you're if you can't turn it if you're making contact with something because what i understand about the k series these are interference engine meaning there's a point where the valves and the pistons share the same surface or the same um, area but just in different timing so if you're in proper timing they won't ever meet bad timing something's touching something so finally got everything off and uh like i said still top dead center up top right here so we're gonna remove that and we're gonna go ahead and start turning it and we're gonna do this like three to four times and you just want to listen out for anything you know if you feel anything off you know you're kind of screwed so let's give that a shot did it so there's no contact I don't hear anything I don't feel anything odd just the natural compression you should feel a little extra oomph now and then that's just the natural compression of the whole thing but uh, yeah don't hear anything don't feel anything odd we did it guys we finished we installed the timing chain tensioner and guides and uh, 
when it comes to the gold links guys don't worry about it you will never get these gold links ever back in their position you probably have to do it like a, maybe 50 times just to get the a chance to get it as close as possible but the most important thing is that you turn it and it feels good feels right no no trouble no no issues and that's it guys that's pretty much a video thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.